What's going on, everybody? It is Major League Baseball playoff season. I thought it would be a great time to show you how to make an easy pennant design using Adobe Illustrator. My project file is just going to be 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall. I'm going with RGB color for mine, but you can use whatever settings work best for you and what you're going to publish it to. Let's go to create and create a rectangle. Once the rectangle is drawn on there, we can go to fill and use any color that we want. I'll do use these swatches that are just here on default, but I'm kind of going a little retro Phillies action here just because I am a Phillies fan. All right, got the rectangle done. I removed the stroke on the outside of it. And then the next thing I want to do, go over here to my shapes and polygon tool, draw a polygon. And there's this tiny little diamond here. If you click and drag it, you can change the amount of sides on it. And then after we make it into a triangle, we'll kind of resize it accordingly. And this one I'll have be a different color. That will work just fine. Once you have that sized, then move it over here to your rectangle. And I mean, you can match it so the edges perfectly come uh, to the end of the triangle. You don't have to, though. It's kind of up to you. I'm going to leave a little gap in mine so that it wasn't quite cut perfectly in there. Uh, then the next thing, we'll go over here to our pen tool. And for the pen tool, I don't need a fill for this, but I'll use white for a stroke. And if I just click where I want this line to start, and then I'm holding shift while I drag down so it stays in a straight line. And then I'll click where I want it to end. You'll notice your pen tool will then keep following your cursor but if you hold down the alt key and then click with your mouse and then let go of the alt key it'll stop following your cursor around uh, we'll select our stroke options over here on the right hand side and maybe go three for the width of that maybe three or two and whichever and if I click on the word stroke, there's an option in here for dashed line. I'll select that. And now I have my stitching of, of the fabric on there, which is just a nice little effect to use for that. Now for our text, let's go here and uh, just use our type tool. Type in whatever you want to use for your team name or whatever you want to say. I'll type in Phillies for my team. And then I'll resize this so that it's kind of big. And I found this typeface called Sana on Adobe Fonts. You can use whatever font that you want, but it's kind of baseball y in there. It reminds me of that retro Phillies typeface that they used to use. Uh, so with this text in here, I can highlight it and then search over here for sauna. And I like the pro black italics. I think it looks pretty good. All right. So once I have that done, then I may need to readjust the size just a little bit if needed. I'll have it be just a little bit shorter than, you know, in length of the pennant here. And then probably should go in here and also at this time change the color of the typeface. And I might just add a narrow stroke of about two pixels around the outside so it's two or three so it's kind of similar to the width of the stitching over here 
All right, now to make our text kind of fit into the shape of, of this right here, uh, then what I can do, select that text, and we'll head up here to Object, go to Envelope Distort, and let's go with uh, Make with Warp. Okay, by default it's going to choose Arc, which is fine but we just need to change the bend to zero and then we can play around with the horizontal we can click OK and then we can move this around if needed and there we have it appreciate you watching let me know what you think in the comments and hopefully we'll catch you on another tutorial video